back to the channel you guys i hope y'all having another good day we're back with some more content so i told y'all in the last video if you didn't watch it which i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all didn't because that video is doing horrible right now but anyways <laughs> um we got a lot of stuff coming in right now uh, a lot of stuff in the garage we're starting to pile back up parts again um at one point i was able to get a lot of the parts pushed out and now I'm, it's getting it's getting filled back up again. But it's a good thing. It's a good thing though. That means we're busy. That means we got stuff going on. Okay. So if you like this video, smash a thumbs up. We got so much, or I got so much to show you guys. It's starting to get a little crazy now. Okay. So we're gonna roll right into. It. All right. First order of business. I figure I'll start with the small, simple stuff. So first things first. I told you guys I ordered an index ring kit. It came in. It's right here. We got the front drive shaft spacer, BD or BDS. And then here is the adapter for the TK ring. Now the only thing I have a question on is it says it's for 09 to 12, but I ordered it for 2008. Now I tried doing research trying it because it looks identical to a 2003 to 8 TK ring kit, but uh, and that's another thing too. The the other one, the older model one, goes from 03 to 12. Or 03 to 13, excuse me. This one goes from 09 to 12. So, like, <laughs> they look exactly the same. The only difference is the older one has a seal. It comes with an additional seal because you got to change out the seal, apparently. Anybody that has a 2008 truck like mine, if only 2008, if did you have to run a ring or not? Or, I mean, not a ring, a space uh, lip seal? Like, did you have to take the seal out? by the uh, output shaft on the T case or were you fine leaving that in and just putting in this stuff? Let me know only if you had a 2008 and you did a T case ring. Okay, now, BD steering stabilizer or yeah, steering box bar. That's actually what they call it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, but whatever. All right, this actually looks really, really nice. Uh, this is, I bought a cheap eBay one like a year and a half ago and this looks, this looks a whole lot more solid than um than what I had in the past before. I'm, I'm trying to let you guys see that, but the camera doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm done. All right. But anyways, this thing looks good, man. It's really good quality. Um, I'm I, the only thing I'm hoping, which I think is going to be good, is I'm hoping that this lines up with the output shaft on the. Uh, steering box because that was the problem I had with the old cheap one the cheap Chinese one that I had but I got a good feeling about it everybody has given it good reviews so uh, I think we'll be okay with that all right coming over here what everybody has been asking about man um my steering so yes I am swapping out the steering officially I'm going to be running this is the upgraded Moog uh fourth gen style is commonly referred to fourth gen style steering um, you know, it's just time to take it off, man. Uh, I, I, you know, the biggest thing was that I wanted to actually, let me show it to you guys. It actually looks good too. The biggest thing is I wanted my tie rods back. I wanted these, these ball, ball joint ends back because believe it or not, they do absorb a lot of, um, play and vibration that is, it, you know, it, it gets, uh, on the road. So, I wanted it back, man. So, we got this bad boy in. Is that, I'm not going to lie. It actually looks really nice. I, I, for, for, I'm not knocking Moog because Moog makes pretty good stuff. But, uh, I was expecting it to look like this. It, it came pre-assembled. I got this from Jags, too, by the way. Jags has it for the cheapest right now. So, if you're trying to get new steering for your, your truck, get it from Jags.com. Um, they got it right now for $259.99 plus free shipping and you know you pay taxes get this though uh you'll save the most money so we got that Man, can't get over it. it looks okay you guys so a lot of people ask me why am i switching it out why am i getting rid of the crossover or the heim steering setup biggest thing is is and i talked to kevin about this uh so first of all by no means am i saying kevin sucks he doesn't know oh if you guys don't know who kevin is one don't Kevin Rannett is a guy that I go through for all my like custom fab suspension work. Um, everything from long arm kits over there, uh, track bars, and uh, currently in the well, actually the track, the track bars are here. 
Um, I go through him for all my custom suspension. He's been my go-to guy for over a year and a half now. Uh, he does make heavy-duty heim joint steering. And I talked with Kevin, and I was kind of giving him some feedback, uh, kind of like a you know research R&D type deal. And the biggest thing that was an issue for me, and this is just me personally, if it doesn't bother you, then you don't have to switch it up. Because I know some of you guys are running his steering, and you guys have no problems with it. I'm not telling you to switch it up. I'm telling you my experience, okay? So for me, it was the bump steer and not being able to get the steering wheel straight, okay? I've gotten two, two alignments, two different shops. Uh, this alignment, the wheel was always off by the slightest hair. Um, it just, it, it, I couldn't do it, man. And what was happening was the, the bump steer, you know, with 24 inch wheels, um, big tires, the bump steer was causing other parts to prematurely wear, you know what I'm saying? So it was starting to mess other things up. So I, 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 I've been running it for damn near a year now. Uh, I'm just ready to switch it up, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this steering put down once and for all which you can tell we're doing it we got the moog steering we got um we got the bd sway bar or sway brace over there and then we got or steering brace sorry we got steering brace over there and then we should uh either tomorrow or monday be ordering a redhead steering box getting that sent out here once we get the redhead box in i mean from there really we just got to put all this stuff on to get an alignment take it to the shop um <laughs> even though that's probably like a whole day event so we got trying to think one more thing i gotta show y'all and this is probably the best out of all of them all right i got a new new toolbox no i'm just kidding we got the gears in finally that's right nitro for thirties and we got the master bearing kit and we got the ring adapter for it okay now i will say i was a, i was kind of freaking out when it first came in because it didn't come looking the best uh the box was beat to shit that's actually one of the boxes right there, it, and I didn't do that. It came like that. Um, it kind of looked like this dude. I bought so rewind. I got this off eBay. Um, it was brand new, open box. Dude bought it for his truck, never used it. Ended up selling it. Um, what I and he told me it sat in his warehouse because I guess he has like a business or something. So you can tell. It looks like it got wet at, at some point and dried up. You see it over there too. Um, no, I checked all the gears. All the gears are fine. There's no damage to them. Um, I even called Nitro Gear to verify that these gears were actual Nitro 430 gears, even though they're stamped on them. I called to verify it just to be safe because you, ne you never know, man. You never know. Um, everything checks good. So, yeah, we got us some gears, y'all. Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, we are taking the truck to a local shop in Jacksonville to drop it off, and we're going to be getting it. Um, these gears installed. I got the gear oil in the truck already. Uh, it's going to be about a 150 mile break-in process. I cannot wait. I've been pumped. I've been, I mean, I've been waiting for this for so long, man. And I talked to the guy on the phone with Nitro, and he said, "If you're running 37s, man, and you he he because he said he has two Dodges uh, Rams, and he said 430s." brings the life back to those trucks uh tremendously so i'm really looking forward to it man and then we got a little installation guide here so we're, we're moving man we're moving i'm telling y'all don't sleep on me don't sleep and then we still uh we still got the uh <coughs> oh man i just sneezed sorry we still got the ppe deep dish pan or uh cover diff cover um my man josh pure panorama nailed it on the head okay he said this. So, a lot of people are jumping on Banks, uh, Team Banks dick, you know, because they're like, oh, they got this cool pan and stuff. And they're all running over here jumping on it and not doing research because that's just what the fad is. Don't get me wrong, Gil Banks does amazing, amazing research and development. He has an awesome staff, very knowledgeable, good stuff. But just because they're good at it doesn't mean no one else can be, okay? One thing that I will be mentioning, but I just kind of want to throw it out there right now, is that... PBE has been working on this pan and cover before Banks released theirs. That PPE was actually the second company. They beat Banks to it. They were actually the second company to release this style uh, cover in the market. I don't even know who the first one was. But that's just a little tidbit out there. Um, we still got the suspension parts looking good. Long arms. I got to paint the rod. These are rod ends for my tie rods. Got to get those painted. 
I gotta finish painting my sway links over here for my heavy duty sway uh, sway link stabilizer. All this stuff right here, by the way, came from uh, Kevin uh, over at Ranit Ironworks. So I gotta paint the uh, sway links, and then I got the sway bar inside the house. Uh, Fox shocks are in here. What's in here? Oh snap! I forgot. I almost forgot this, you guys. So over here, if I can get my hand on it. One second. Let me get it. Alright you guys, one more thing, I don't even know how I almost forgot to show you guys this. We have Bilstein dual steering stabilizer for the front. Um, this is actually belongs to a super lift kit, so if, like, I guess super lift and Bilstein got air in cahoots with each other. Um, but you can buy this separate, so I know a lot of cats like to run off and go pay 500 bucks for the Fox BDS uh, dual steering stabilizers with 2.0 reservoir, or the 2.0 tubes, but... The Bilstein one is just as good, and it's like only $2.99. I got this off eBay, brand new, $299. Bucks. All of this stuff in here, like the parts I went over today, brand new, eBay. eBay, $999, like $999. Or, sorry, Jags. So, one thing off Jags. Jags, $250. Steering stabilizer, or steering brace off of the BD steering brace, eBay, $169. Index ring, $175. And then, like I said, $2.99. All of this stuff came off of eBay, you guys. Um, you know, the days of saying, oh, I don't trust it, or oh, it's not authentic, or that that's old shit, man. That's 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 old, okay? Uh, you can definitely get a good deal on eBay, because I can tell you right now, if you go to your local truck park dealer and say, hey, can you price me out Bill Seen dual steering stabilizer? I guarantee you, you're probably looking at about $400 bucks, um, easily, so... It's, and then go to Advanced Auto and give them that part number and tell them, ask them how much that is. <laughs> you, you'll be surprised. And then for gears brand new, you're looking at about, at about for this setup exactly off Nitro, you're looking at about 1400-ish uh, bucks. So, and then the BD one, BD is like, I think it's like 260 brand new or something like that. So this stuff adds up, man. It definitely does. So you always got to be out there hunting for the best deal. Uh, this stuff is very nice quality. I've never purchased Bilstein before. It's kind of cool. Super ride shocks. Nice. So you guys, you see, I have a lot of stuff going on. There's a whole lot of parts in here right now. Um, there is a reason why I haven't messed with the dual stern stable. I haven't messed with nothing yet, really. Um, we're kind of at a standstill right now because we're waiting on the truck to get re-geared, which is happening Tuesday, like you guys know. So when the truck gets re-geared, after it gets re-geared, We'll be able to start pushing forward from there. Um, after it gets re-geared, the next thing I probably will end up doing is dropping that uh, T-case ring inside of the T-case. That way we can go ahead. Because you can put that on anytime um, just to make sure, you know, we got the good geometry from our front drive shaft. And then from there, we'll probably start knocking the steering out. And then what I want to do is I want to get the steering done. And the last thing that's going to get done is the lift kit. That way when the lift kit, because, you know, once you put a lift kit on, Everything else needs to be good. Be oh, I just forgot. We got ball joints on the way too. Anyways, once you put a lift kit on, everything else needs to be good. Okay, uh, if you do it the opposite, put the lift kit on first and then try to do everything else, you're just going to tear the shit out of the lift kit and all the parts on the truck. So always make sure everything is in line before putting the lift kit on because it's going to save you money, time, and just a headache and a bad ride. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot of cool stuff going on, you guys. Um, until next time. If, tell me what you think about the video. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Um, but you guys take care. Be safe. Have a good weekend. And until next time, y'all take it easy.